Welcome back to another great day at On Earth as in Heaven, BBS. Yesterday, Sage seemed a little worried about whether God's phone needed to charge. I hope Sage is feeling better today. Oh, and here she is now. Hi, Sage. Hi. Sage, you look a little worried. What's wrong? Well, today we are praying for God's kingdom to come. I've been thinking about this God's kingdom thing, and I've got a question. If it's a kingdom and kings are boys, is everyone allowed? Of course everyone is allowed. And not just allowed, but welcomed, encouraged, wanted. What makes you ask? Oh, well, there are these kids that I know, and they can be kind of mean sometimes. They love to play kingdom and say kings are boys. So only boys can be in a kingdom. And I just don't know how I feel about that. I feel kind of sad for them. Think of all the amazing people they're missing out on being friends with. Yeah, but still, it's called a kingdom. We pray for God's kingdom to come. What if you're not a boy? It's more of a word problem than it is a God problem, I think. There isn't really a good word for what we're describing. We call it a kingdom, but it's more like a place where people follow God and love each other, and it's definitely for everyone. Are you sure? Because the apostles were all boys. At least, they all had boy names. They did, that's true. But there were other disciples of Jesus who also had important jobs to do. Have you heard of Mary Magdalene? Mary Magdalene. Hmm. Wasn't she the one who went to Jesus' tomb after he died and an angel told her he wasn't there because he'd been raised? She was. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. And do you remember what the angel told them to do? No. The angel told them to go and tell the other disciples that Jesus had been raised. And while they were going to do that, Jesus met them and they worshipped him. Wow! So Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were the first to see Jesus alive again? They were the first people to spread the good news that Jesus was alive in the world? That's right. And there are lots of other women like that in the Bible. Women like Esther, who saved God's people from a bad king. Mm. Or Ruth, who stuck by her mother-in-law when she was in need. Or Dorcas and Tabitha, two early leaders of the church. God uses everyone to do God's work. What matters to God is that you are you, and that you have gifts and skills that are unique and important in the world. So everyone has a part to play, and anyone is welcome? Yes, everyone is welcome, and everyone can join, and everyone can lead. That's great! I can't wait to learn how God is going to use me today. Neither can I. Let's review what we just talked about. The prayer for today is, your kingdom come. We are learning about fairness and equality and how ELCA World Hunger is working on projects with women and girls to make a difference in their communities. The focused prayer that God's kingdom come reminds us that in God's kingdom, there is a place for everyone. Please join me with our closing prayer. Good and gracious God, Thank you for another chance to have fun and learn about your love for us and the world. Help us to see you in everyone we meet. Amen. Amen.